the Corsair nerfs are coming and they are intended. Everybody probably knows about this by now, but I want to give you my feedback, my opinion, and what I think about it. As well as dive in a little bit deeper into how it actually looks and functions. And also, maybe, the bright side of all this. I can completely understand where they're coming from. I've always felt like the Drake Corsair was a ship that offered far too much firepower and survivability for a single player, but not enough firepower and survivability for a crew. I don't think that these changes accurately address those two issues. I suppose you could argue that it solves issue number one, where it makes the ship a lot less enticing for a solo player, which is fine in my book, but it's still not nearly enough firepower and durability to justify putting a crew in there. But real quick, let's go take a look at the changes in-game to give you a better idea of what this change has done, and maybe offer up some better solutions that might make everybody happy. All right, the first change here is already pretty noticeable. You can see here that we only have four guns instead of six. We have the two size fives and the two size fours. All right, let's go check out the co-pilot now. See the big nerf. All right, we are now in a co-pilot seat and oh boy, it's not very good. As you can see here, the field of fire, what you can actually cover, not very impressive. I'm not a math nerd, so I don't know what degrees this is. Maybe you guys can put it in the comments, but this ain't looking too good. Top it all off, you've also got this, in my opinion, annoying component, which is the option to go over to the remote turret. So now the co-pilot, I guess, has to assume managing other systems, as well as a remote turret and a fixed turret on the front. But to me, all is not lost. I can actually see this being a good change if they do a couple things. The most obvious is to make this gun right here that we're in actually usable. Let's take a look at it real quick. Now, I ain't no graphics artist or ship designer, but this looks like a turret ring to me. And if this actually acted like a turret on a turret ring, this could be a pretty good change. The coverage on the Corsair is not very good with its guns. And this here could help solve a lot of the issues it has, such as the massive blind spot beneath the ship. Now, for comparison, I'm going to put on the screen some concept art or, or an early release picture of the Corsair that shows you how these guns here were actually apparently mounted on turrets and presumably had a lot better coverage than they currently have now. Now, if you look at that picture and you see how it's positioned and you could imagine it maybe going 360 or just having a lot better coverage than what we have now, you can see this as a benefit because it opens up multi-crew as an option for the Corsair to help separate it from the Constellation. But let's talk about the Constellation real quick because if their idea is to nerf the Corsair because it's overperforming, then the players who use the Corsair will either go to the Constellation because it's going to give them essentially the same type of gameplay, big forward-facing firepower, decent durability, all controlled by a pilot, or maybe another ship might come out that fulfills the same role the Corsair used to fulfill. I don't know. I'm not going down into that conspiracy. But my solution would not be to give the same treatment to the Constellation, that is, remove some of the guns and give it to a co-pilot. And I can understand a Corsair owner's desire to do that, since we all know that Constellation owners are the Jeep owners of the Star Citizen universe, and it's very easy to dislike them and their favorite ship. I'm only kidding, by the way. But rather, I would like to see the Corsair differentiate from the Constellation and offer a better alternative, provided you can crew it. In other words, I don't want a carbon copy of the Constellation, except with more guns. So, here is what I would do. Now, if you remember the start of the video, we said the Corsair was too much firepower and too much durability for a single pilot, but not enough firepower and not enough durability to justify a crew. They fixed problem number one, but they did not fix problem number two. So right now, the field of fire for the bottom turret is about this right here. Not that great for a turret, not something that I think is particularly very useful or fun to use. The obvious solution to this problem, in my opinion, is to maintain the turret's obvious frontal firepower while also allowing it to cover a portion of the bottom of the ship. This is, of course, a rough doodle. I'm not an artist, but you get the picture here. We want this nose gun to cover not just the front and not just help the pilot shoot what's in front of him, but also cover below and around to justify somebody sitting in that seat. Now, what about this little 
emaciated, cute little turret on the back here. The co-pilot is now responsible for missiles, the fixed forward guns, and whatever other system he is responsible for. But he also has this remote turret. Can it not be tied to the engineering terminal here? This frees up the pilot, gives the engineer something to do, and makes the ship a bit more enticing with that firepower. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I just don't like the idea of the co-pilot controlling all this stuff, especially since the main guns he controls are not very fun to use. Another potential solution that people might not like, but I'm going to throw out there, is to establish a bit of parity between the Corsair and the Constellation in terms of solo firepower. So as we know, the Constellation here has four size five guns. And the Corsair has two size fives and two size fours. Now what you could do here, and this isn't going to be popular, is you could take the Constellation size fives, drop them down to size fours. Take the Corsair's two size fives, drop those down to fours. Now each ship has four size four guns that the pilot can control. The advantage for the Corsair is that if they have a co-pilot, they have a size five turret. Alternatively, you could just buff the Corsair's wing guns up to size five, and now it's on par with the Constellation. Just throwing it out there, but I think you get the point, is we're establishing solo pilot parity between the two ships. Because as it stands now, people are just going to use the Constellation Andromeda, and it's going to have the same issue. I'm not against the concept and the theory, or even the reasoning behind the changes to the Corsair. I don't like the way they're doing them. The Corsair, and to a lesser extent the Connie, have always been a barrier preventing multi-crew. Because the question always was, well, why would I put a crew in here when I could just bring another Corsair or another Constellation? This change doesn't really seem to address that. But I'm willing to wait and see how it pans out. CIG, if you do see this video, consider making the bottom seat not just effective, but fun to use. Give a player a reason to want to be in that seat. And then reward the pilot, or the owner of the ship, whatever you want to call it, for putting the crew together and giving them a good time. That's the only way this is going to work. Otherwise, people are just going to go fly the Constellation or something else.